2020 has been a big year for Motorola already. First its own foldable phone, the Motorola Razr and now we have the Motorola Edge Plus. The Edge Plus isn't just a rebranded Z series phone, it's a fresh start for the company's product line. This is a device pushed to the extremes and which can compete with the best such as Samsung Galaxy and Apple handsets. Motorola has furnished the Edge Plus with many elements from the leading flagships. The screen is carved over the sides like the waterfall display from the Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 lines of phones. It doesn't have an IP water and dust resistance rating but Motorola claims its design is water repellent and of course it contains one of the rarest of features on a flagship phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The display is 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED panel, its large, sharp and the endless edge sides are very attractive. The display's 21 by 9 aspect ratio makes this phone feel narrow, meaning some people may find it awkward to use one-handed. Like many other flagship phones in 2020, you can set the edge plus to light up its sides when receiving notification. Another great feature is the 90Hz refresh rate, meaning smooth video and gameplay. The phone's specs are top tier, from its Snapdragon 865 chipset to the 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The Motorola H Plus packs a traditional quad rear camera setup. The star of the show is the 108MP main shooter, which can use pixel binning tech that reduces the megapixel count while effectively expanding the size of each pixel to let in more light. The phone also has an 8MP telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 16MP ultra-wide camera as well as a time-of-flight depth sensor to enable bokeh effect in portrait shots. The main shooter can also capture video in 6K UHD. Pictures taken with this device looks great with rich color and great dynamic range. On the front there is a 25MP camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. The H Plus is also 5G capable. It packs a 5000mAh battery and Motorola claims it will last for up to 2 days. Sadly the H Plus max out at 18W charging which has been the case with the previous Motorola phones. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with screens that carve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there's a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 Plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options. That chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which takes fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultra-wide camera and two telephoto lenses. One of these is 8MP and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12MP with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also has a 20MP front-facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel. However, the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen, but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with the microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there's no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another idea Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12MP main sensor, a 12MP telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12MP ultrawide sensor, alongside a 3D time-of-flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. 
It's using a technology that Sony developed for its alpha range of cameras and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto expose your calculations at 60 frames per second while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330mAh on the Xperia 1. Huawei Mate 30 Pro smartphone will be launched in October 2019. The phone comes with a 6.53 inch OLED touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 18.5 by 9. It is powered by octa core high silicon Kirin 9907 nm processor. It comes with 8GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 40 megapixel main shooter and 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a 40 megapixel ultra wide lens along with a 3D time-of-flight camera. There are two cameras on the front for selfies, one is 32 megapixel and another is 3D time-of-flight sensor. This device is based on EMUI 10 on top of Android 10 and packs 256 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 4500 mAh battery with 40 watt fast battery charging and 27 watt wireless charging support. It was launched in black, space silver, cosmic purple and emerald green colors. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 chipset, which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super-fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs four rear cameras, including a 48MP main camera with a 1.78 aperture. There's also a 8MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and ultra-wide 48MP camera with a 119-degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide-angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. On the front, there is a single 16 megapixel selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall, the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 70 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510 mAh battery, which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical uses including gaming, video playback, social media, messaging, video calls and photography. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G smartphone was launched on 7th August 2019. The phone comes with a dynamic AMOLED 6.8 inch touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. It is powered by a 1.9 GHz octa core Samsung Exynos 9825 processor that features 4 cores clocked at 1.9 GHz, 2 cores clocked at 2.4 GHz, and 2 cores clocked at 2.7 GHz. It comes with 12 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel primary camera with an 1.5 to 2.4 aperture, a second 16 megapixel ultra wide lens with an 2.2 aperture, a third 12 megapixel telephoto lens with an 2.1 aperture, and a fourth time of flight 3D VGA camera. The rear camera setup has face detection autofocus. 
There is a 10 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. With a 2.2 aperture, the front camera also features autofocus. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G runs one UI based on Android 9 Pie and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via micro SD card up to 1 terabyte. It's a dual SIM smartphone that accepts nano SIM and nano SIM cards. This device is powered by a 4300 mAh battery with 45W fast charging support. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. This smartphone also supports face unlock. It was launched in Aura Black, Aura Glow and Aura White colors. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touchscreen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7 nanometer processor. It comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup consisting of a 12 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. There are two cameras on the front for selfies, one is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3969 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors. The P40 Pro features a quad curve overflow display with carved glass at all four edges. There are still very thin bezels at the top and bottom. The 6.58 inch screen on the Huawei P40 Pro has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. Huawei has increased the refresh rate of the screen to 90Hz which is faster than the 60Hz of its previous phones but not quite as fast as competing handsets like the S20 and Oppo Find X2 Pro that offer a 120Hz display. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by the same Kirin 9905G chipset that we have seen in the Mate 30 Pro 5G and Huawei's folding phone, the Mate XS. This is based on 7nm manufacturing technology and is plenty fast enough to keep up with the latest flagship phones. The processor is teamed up with 8GB of RAM and also currently the only high-end chipset with integrated 5G, meaning it will work well with the dedicated 5G networks of the future as well as with the current hybrid LTE slash 5G networks. If there's one thing that has made Huawei's P-series phones stand out from the crowd, it's the camera tech. The P20 and P30 handsets raised the bar when it came to the mobile photography and Huawei is looking to raise it higher again with the P40 Pro. On the rear section, the Leica branded camera setup composed of a 50 megapixel primary and 40 megapixel ultra wide cameras and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom. There is also a time of flight sensor for creating bokeh effect in portrait mode shots. With the P40 series, Huawei is debuting its XD Fusion engine which uses AI to optimize your photos. Huawei was one of the first manufacturers to get on board with AI and the results on the P40 Pro are impressive. The phone can remove friends from a picture and even reflections that appear when you are trying to photograph anything that's behind a glass. The P40 Pro also features impressive zooming capabilities and Huawei isn't shy talking about that. Low light photography has been a strong point for Huawei and the P40 Pro doesn't disappoint on that front. The P40 Pro's rear camera layout is capable of shooting Ultra HD 4K video at up to 60 frames per second as well as super slow motion at up to an eye-watering 7680 fps. Both modes are available on the ultra wide and wide cameras. Up front is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter backed up by laser guided autofocus. The 32 megapixel selfie shooter is able to capture lots of detail and color in almost all lighting conditions. The Huawei P40 Pro is equipped with a 4200 mAh battery, which should last you a full day of moderate to heavy uses. It supports 40W fast wired charging as well as wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your fingers reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. 
The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7nm chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of internal storage and a microSD card slot for expandable storage. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra-wide camera. There's also a time-of-flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3D scans and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108MP camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is.